My name is Kevin Tokoff. In this fairly short video, we're going to go over the basis behind P agar or phenylethyl alcohol, PEA agar. Okay? This molecule right here is phenylethyl alcohol. Phenylethyl alcohol agar or P agar is a selective medium and it only selects for gram positive organisms and it does not allow gram negative bacteria to grow. So basically, the principle, the principle behind P. agar is you inoculate your agar with the bacteria, and if it's gram-positive organisms that are on the P. agar, you should still see significant growth. If it was gram-negative, you should not see significant growth. It won't kill them. It will just prevent their growth. So pretty much you're just looking for a lot of growth or a minimal growth. And if you have a lot of growth, that usually means you're dealing with a gram-positive organism. If you don't really see any growth, then you have a gram-negative organism. Now, like we said, P. agar will not kill gram-negative organisms. It just prevents their growth. So if you, want, if you had a gram-negative organism, since this agar does not kill them, you're actually able to transfer them to a non-selective agar and, and continue growing the gram-negative organism. So you can actually transfer them to another agar that allows general growth, like a triptych soy agar or something like that, and you can facilitate further growth of gram-negative bacteria. The key here is if you have significant growth on your agar, you are probably dealing with a gram-positive bacteria. Here's a, uh, here's a general result of P. agar. Um, that hopefully will give you an idea of what you're looking for. So pay attention to these two quadrants of this uh, P. agar dish right here. You can clearly see growth on this quadrant over here on the far right. Because we see significant growth, that means we're dealing with a gram-positive organism. Over here, we really don't see significant growth. I really can't see any. Therefore, that's going to be a gram-negative bacteria. Okay, uh, I just got this picture off of the internet. But this is a fairly straightforward test, and the nice thing about a test like this is that you can actually use it in conjunction with a gram stain to make sure that you got the right result. It can actually be a further uh, validation of your determination of whether something's gram positive or gram negative.